if this particular table only had column headers or only had a header row, what we would use for a bookmark name is column title. And if this particular table did not have a header row but only had a first column, these would be row headers, and that bookmark name would be row title. If you have multiple tables in a document, each table needs its own bookmark, and that bookmark must be unique. One way to distinguish bookmarks is to add an underscore and a number that goes with it. So for this particular table, what we're going to do is we're going to add a bookmark name title underscore one. I'm going to add that, save the table. Now let's listen to what this sounds like. Table one, uniform table. Whitman, row two of five, poem. Oh, captain, my captain. Here written, 1865. Longfellow, 1838. You can hear that with that bookmark in place, the table is read appropriately. One last thing to note is that you only need to place one bookmark in each table, not one bookmark per cell.